deal with the Wisp. All right, so game underway here. Oh, jeez, I can't even give you guys the go. <laughs> We're going to have action right away. There was, he goes flying through, and then the is on to Dread. It looks like this could be the first blood. This could be a defensive nightmare, but I think it's coming. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Dale finding first blood. There's a massive hoopstorm onto three of them. Yellow Sabrina, they're going to lose Barash here. It's a one for one trade, but now Viper here with the Iron Shell chasing down Grace. They'll find themselves a second kill. It's two for one. And now Dale and the Pawns get the draw to find out for Ninja. He's been helped out a little bit by Goldar, but it's not enough. They lose the Tiny. And now with the cast by Zelda, Goldar can they chase this one down? They're trying to get themselves in range here. PSM, he's looking for the telekinesis. He's closing on as the eye of Gotham Shorty. They're looking for PSM. Can they do it? Up to the high ground. Dale here with the Iron Shell. He's going to turn around. He's going to go straight for Goddamn trying to bring him down here. But now he's caught in between all four on the side of Hellraiser. He's dread trying to fight himself through the trees. He even checks out by the Posture and Dale here. Oh, now there's the Avalanche onto two. Holding back the Darks here. Holding back the Viper. Viper. Now we'll get the Hill to Gorets. Maybe the. Hey, some more mid lane. We're going to see Afinish turn around here with an Avalanche for the toss. Back on the Barrage. Now he's trying to clear out Afinish here with the race. Afinish still trying to go with it for the punches. Now he just turns around, puts the six touch for the Peter Respiration. He's not going to be enough. They do this for Shadow Feed and Hail Raises. They might be able to find the Wistrox as well with the Stampede. And Wistrox is going to will go down to a double kill. And at the same time on the top lane, this is great for Hail Raises. They might find themselves a third kill here. And they will do indeed as they bring down the Viper. And you're talking about how they should be because they don't know this is coming. PSM with the telekinesis on to have a ninja. Could they have the burst coming to bring down this tiny nose? Could be able to turn around and get out of the avalanche. But in fact, the Gretz nightmare onto Shadow Fiend allowed him to avoid the damage from that initial avalanche burst. And Yellow Submarine, they'll try and walk this one off. They might lose Furby in here. And they will do indeed as a toss comes through for an Afro Ninja on the tiny. They they're going to try and find out if the ninja he has got the toss stolen. Well, the Paralyzer Pass is coming out to Tiny. He's going to be back down here by Goddamn trying to get him back up. And now Benin, he just wants to go straight in. He wants to try and find some kills for himself. He'll be able to bring down PSM and maybe they can find Furvian as well, chasing down the Witch Doctor. He will get the cast out, but the bounce is... No, he didn't actually get the cast out. He was already dead. Double kill there, but... Martez will drop his dominated kill streak here for Furvian. And now with the death fall from the high ground, it's going to be a double kill as he also brings down Dread on the Phoenix. And now with three for two, Dread favoring the side of Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine just go to look back and finish this one. But they've actually lost another one. They might lose PSM as well. Yes, they do. It's going to be a double kill for Aya from the high ground. Just with a raise and a fade box the backside, they'll lose the Phoenix. Worth noting, of course, with the buyback, he's down for a good minute at this point of game. Artez has turned up and wants to push him through the slow here. There's going to be a stampede pop to now. Afro Ninja coming in, they're trying to blow up PSM, but he's being kept alive by the bank. He will finally fall, but they've lost Artez the side of Hellraisers. They might lose more as well. On the Roche pit without vision, and then they got owned because of the Death Ward. Like, even the last fight, they, they fiend script the Witch Doctor and they still couldn't kill him. And then he just channeled Death Ward afterwards. Yeah, he did indeed. So, it was just, wow. They, they weren't able to execute the split push properly. They got the split push down part, but the other three should, shouldn't be fighting. They only go... ...coming here, and uh, they won't find anything, but they did indeed manage to get the ward down. Oh, Goretz, he's, he needs to be careful. Oh, with the cheeky little lead through there at the tree line. PSM's going to look for the body blows now with the firing spurs coming out. The stun from Leshrak as well. Goretz goes down and Yellow Submarine with a very cheeky reach around. Heavy harassment here with the creatures diving in as well. Afro Ninja will follow through. Get a few right clicks now. Bring it for Rash down. But that's fine with that. He's got some more tacklers. He's at A-OK -okay at the moment. I remember talking to someone about this. Bottom lane, Furby's gonna be careful, so the Huskar, they've lost one, they're gonna lose two here. They did bring down the, <laughs> down the sniper, they also lost the venge here on the bottom lane. Yeah, what's I mean, they've got to be careful, I'm just giving away here, Goretz is trying to find the final right click onto Meposhka, isn't going to be able to find it, Furby and bringing this shaman low, will find the kill now, Artez trying to find a trade up to Lesh, and Meposhka's ready to go back in, Artez will just turn around and say thanks for the kill as he takes down the Huskar, and now Artez Onto Artes, there's going to be a quick hit from Goretz onto the Huskar. Huskar trying to get, uh, turn this one around, but he's going to up straight away, taking a fair few tires. His PSM, he's in a lot of trouble. Artes is going to level 6, will sit 4, finds the kill on the Ventral Spirit. They lost the Huskar as well. Goretz will take down his burn damage, but again, a 2 for 1 trade favoring the Sail. And they do bring down the Darkseid, and Darkseid, of course, arguably the hero on the side of Yellow Submarine that was having the best game so far for the side. He's going to go down, and Hellraiser's there, ready to try and put on the pressure here on the top lane. Shaman there on the sidelines does indeed have the wars. They're not Dyer's even going to need it for the top tier one as that will go down to undying. <laughs> Just get off the wall. Mid lane, Dark Seed did get taken out. Apologies. Missing. Well, Hellraiser looking to take more here, going straight in. Drew Carl onto two. This is very nice here from the side of Hellraiser's Ranger. Artes just sitting straight through Maposka and Furby, both incredibly low. Furby will go down Maposka, can't get the chance to stay more right, but Apo Ninja with a triple kill. 
drop down, they will lose the fight hard. So they have to be very careful about how they proceed right here. Oh, I think it's coming. And he got that turning himself in. There's going to be a swap here. Pierce and bring himself right into it. That's going to happen for Ninja to get a massive dream call. And now Arted sipping forward. He's looking to clear this one up. That's the one meant to do. Double kill for God down. Double kill for Dread. There's a because they know they don't have as good late game. Pugna has uh, so much more farm. Huskar has nothing, and it was a it was a disastrous play. But it, uh, again, if what's their they played to win, not to not lose, which is why I like Yellow Submarine. Well, it was a great series, nonetheless. Obviously, two very.